Good morning and welcome to the homestead. I am trying to not get eaten by mosquitoes, so I, if, I apologize if the sun's too bright. Um, and I'm, I'm afraid to go into the uh, shade where the mosquitoes are. Uh, even with a little bit of mosquito repellent on, they're still they're still bad. So I'm trying, trying to do my best to just kind of deal with the sun and go from there. Um, I've actually made this video uh, several different times, trying to figure out how and what and how to do to say this. You know, it's it's one thing to like have a conversation with another person who asks you questions and talks back to you. It's quite another to just sit there and talk to a screen and nobody's talking back. Um, so it's been difficult to try to even know how to, I guess, say this. It's you know, it, I I've done a couple of videos where I've taught stuff, and those videos I find are so much easier. Um, because I know what I'm teaching and I just, I'm just showing you how to do stuff. Um, but the conversation that I need to have right now and today, um, it's not really teaching anything, I guess. It's just letting you know kind of where we're at, um, as far as like where we're at in our journey or our homestead. So our mosquitoes are still coming out a little bit. Um... So a lot of you know that we try, we have done a, a greenhouse business or we've tried to start one. Um, and at the beginning of the year, I told Sean this was going to be my make it or break it year. The first year we had was really good. Didn't have a lot of customers, but it was really good. And then the two following years after that, it was like everything that could go wrong went wrong. And we were learning lots of stuff. Um, and so I don't really consider, I didn't really consider them good years to really show me if the greenhouse business was the way to go or not. So we decided at the beginning of this year, as we were doing plants, we we're going to give it everything we had. We we're going to do it all, all and just, and, and see what happened. And while, <clears throat> while we did better this year than we have in years previous, we didn't do great. Um, and there's several reasons for that. Um, some of it, you know, is just, we're new. Um, and, and to be honest, around here, there's a lot of Amish greenhouses too. And for whatever reason, people will go and gravitate to something that has Amish in it versus somebody they that's not Amish. I don't know why that is, but they do. And that's just, just the reality of it. Um, also as we've tried to get our biz greenhouse business going and like I was checking on different, um, Facebook pages and joining them and advertising, other people were advertising and I was noticing that there was greenhouses around our area that I didn't even know were around here. So it was kind of a, a, an issue with saturation. There just was too many greenhouses um, for everybody to just go to. And so that was beginning to come quite clear that we just can't compete, which is fine. In the whole revelation of all of this, there's something that I have been kind of getting frustrated at. I have been wanting to grow the majority of our food and in the process of trying to start thousands of plants, keep them going, trans, you know, put them, I start them in like little, um, um, oh, for goodness sakes, no, plug trays. And then when they got to a bit certain size, then we transplanted them over into the bigger pots um that way we could do the you can put a whole bunch in a plug tray there was like you know 288 in some of them so we were able to start those in the house under a grow light and then as they got bigger then we could put them in a bigger pot so they could be in the greenhouse and they'd be thrive and and, and be okay there and be able to handle the cooler temperatures and stuff um so as we were doing all of that uh I didn't have time to put into 
our gardens and planting what we need for our family. And I'm having to rely more on the stores than I wanted to. Um, I, at this point, I was hoping to be growing, you know, even 75% of our food and I'm not doing that. In fact, I'm getting burnt out. Um, even, you know, Sean's even noticed. He's like, you're not, you don't even care. You haven't been out in the garden. You're not harping on, hey, you guys need to come out and help me weed or anything. He's like, the weeds are taking over. And I just don't. I'm, I'm burnt out. I have been going strong in the garden for since March and taking care of all these plants. And it's very stressful to take care of plants that you don't even know if they're going to sell. And then, so then you've got to think about what am I going to do with all these leftover plants? And that was very, very stressful. And it's more stress than I really wanted. And to, like I said, to top it all off, I'm not able to do what I wanted to do in the growing of, the, of our food and doing our garden. Um, so at the, yeah, as things progressed and we started having people come in and and you know, we had more customers. We've, we've increased customers every single time, but it really wasn't still enough. And we talked about it a lot. We were praying about it a lot. And we just came to the conclusion that we're not, the greenhouse business just isn't for us right now. Um, I'm okay with that. I mean, it was kind of frustrating at the beginning, but once I realized, you know, I can't, I can't do my spring garden like I want. I couldn't even get my summer garden in as early as I wanted. Um, so it's just not worth it to try to, to make a business out of uh, selling plants if I can't even feed my own family good, healthy food. Uh, so we are not going to be doing a greenhouse business for now. Um, we're going to put that on the side. We've thought about doing some other options to, to try to kind of, um, make the green, to, to make greenhouse, the homestead uh, profitable. There are some other things that I found that I liked better, like growing the produce and selling the produce. I actually prefer that. I found more joy in that. Um, especially since I don't have to start thousands and thousands of plants. I can just limit what I'm wanting to grow and then sell the extras. I would rather have extra produce than extra plants that I have no room for. Uh, so I'm actually kind of excited about this next year. Our greenhouse is still going to be used. It's not, it's not going to be sitting back there you know, getting destroyed or anything like that. Um, there's going to be a couple of things. I have a kitty. Um, the first thing is we're going to start transitioning the greenhouse from showcasing plants into putting in like a container garden in there. So we can grow vegetables and foods like cold weather crops in early spring to and then late fall that we can't do outside the greenhouse um so that is one thing that we're looking into uh, another thing i have i am going to be doing is i've had a lot of people have a, a express an interest in doing special orders um so I, in the springtime i will be making a list of all the seeds that i have available and if people want to order seedlings that way they're more than welcome to if they still want to support us um I, i'm okay with doing that so i'm not gonna have like a a big sale um for right now i, I you know in the, my in the future i may find that i can do some flowers and maybe around mother's day do a huge flower sale or something i don't know we're, we're still we're still ironing out all the details, but the main thing that we want to focus on is growing our own food. That is what we feel that is more important to us. Um, what's the point of having a homestead if we're not utilizing that and making it into a self a self sufficient entity? It, it's just it, right now we're just overwhelmed with everything that we're trying to do, and I'm tired. Um, so 
I, you know, something needed to go. And I'm, I don't really, I've fought it at first because I'm like, no, I really want to make this work. But as I was going and I was realizing that my dreams were not coming true, it was like, you know what? I don't care anymore. I don't care about selling other people, you know, plants that'll make them food or their yards beautiful when I can't even feel, feed my own family. So, um, that's where we're at. I will, like in the springtime, um, if you're on my, I think it's S and J homesteading family page, I will be putting a list on, um, that page of all the seeds that I have that you can order starts from. Um, but I'm not going to be doing thousands and thousands of seedlings. It's just not working. <coughs> so, <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm kind of excited about getting back to where I need to be. I've got plans for this next spring. Um, there's some beds that I've been wanting to make and fill and grow with stuff in and expand. Um, and I'm finally going to be able to do that and have the energy and the time to do what I want to do. And uh, so I, I, I'm okay with not doing a greenhouse business. I really am. I, it's just, it's not something I really enjoyed as much as I thought I would. Um, you know, I, it kind of was one of those things that, you know, for a couple of months, I felt like I was a prisoner in my own home because you had to be here in case somebody showed up. So that was frustrating a little bit sometimes. You know, Sean was home this week with, me or this, this week, this summer with uh, medical um, issues. And we would go, you know, the kids are old enough that I was able to leave them. And go do what I wanted, you know, go do short trips with him to, you know, the nearby town. And and then when the greenhouse started, we had to cut that back. And so we weren't able to spend as much time together um, because of that. And I didn't like that. So we may do a couple of different things. We haven't decided yet. We're kind of praying about it and seeing what God opens up. Um, a couple of options that we've lo I've looked into is not just having a roadside stand here um, in there's farmers markets and stuff like that but doing like um, a CSA which is a customer supported agriculture where you basically you have people pay you to grow their vegetables uh, obviously there's some uh, pros and cons with that like you know the con would be what if you know you plant a hundred rows of green beans and only two of them come up you know I'm, you know if I get enough customers that's gonna be an issue so you know we got to look into things like that like if there's crop failure how do you deal with that um, another thing that I have looked into is if you do something like that there are grants out there that you can get they're kind of like mini greenhouses. They're called caterpillar tunnels. And you can get those and you can grow things like lettuces. And like if you want like tomatoes, you can um, more control what kind of moisture they're in. Um, so you can like reduce how much cracking it goes on. So you have more blemish free tomatoes. Uh, so there's different options that we're looking into again we're just praying about it and seeing what seeing what god wants for us to do i think next year i'm just going to get back to growing my food and i'm not going to worry about trying to make extra money you know god is going to provide that's not going to be an issue you know i might put my roadside stand out and sell anything that's extra so yeah that i'm i think next year i'm just going to keep it simple i need to get my energy back uh and, and get back into it and stop getting overwhelmed um so i'm kind of excited about going back to the bare bones going back to homesteading um that to me is more important so yeah that's where we're at right now um i'm hoping to put out more videos as we're doing this because if i have more time and i'm not getting myself worn out with the greenhouse i'll have more time to put out more videos and show you what we're doing um so i'm kind of excited about that um i know people have asked me questions and 
I, you know, I give them a response, but it's so much easier, like, if you can just hop on a video real quick and, even, and show what you're talking about. Because um, sometimes I feel like when I'm writing stuff out, I'm like, did that even make sense? Um, and maybe if I'm doing a video, it, it won't make sense either. So I, <laughs> it's one of those risks I'm willing to take, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so I, I'm kind of excited about this next year. Um, you know, we're going to have, I don't know when my canning season, my food preservation season is going to be over, but I know after December, I know for a fact that I'll have a break from in January and it depends on how hard of a winter we have. I'll have, you know, we'll start with maple syrup season again, February, March ish. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And, um, I'm excited, so it's okay. It's okay not to have a business. I'm okay with it. So, anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you about. And that's it was easier to do a video than trying to write all this out. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to pray for pray with us as we're trying trying to figure out what God wants us to do, we got a lot of new stuff coming up. Um, some I'm not at liberty to talk about yet, um, but. Um, we got a lot coming on and you know, we just feel like God's leading us in this direction and, and, and we're excited about it. Scared. Sure. It's all, we have no idea what's going on, but we're excited about it. So I am looking forward to sharing you what our journey is going to look like from now on. So we'll talk to you later. We'll see you on the next video.